All right, sis, new arrival number two, the Tessa detail something. I don't know if we're calling her a top or a sweater because I don't really think she fits in a category. She is just that good. And we've like debated back and forth. Is she a sweater or not? So I don't remember what we landed on, but the Tessa, that's what's important as kind of just for us. That's important. Y'all probably don't care about their names at all, but can y'all see why I'm just like, this week is so good. I broke my own rule and I took the Tessa. I wore her on a weekend road trip. We took with some friends this past weekend. It came to the travel day and I was like, you know what? I just want, I try not to like live in these clothes before I do try-ons with you because although I'm really familiar with them, I like having a fun first impression with you when I put them on. But I needed this trip. I mean, I needed this top for our road trip because I knew I could be super comfortable and then pull in to like a semi nice little dinner at a restaurant. Look how easy both of these, the Tessa and the Phoebe, so comfortable yet so easy to pair with some black jeans, some little Sophia clogs and look like I tried, but girl, I don't feel like I tried. I am that comfortable. This sweater is not like anything I have in my closet. I've said that a lot lately, but that's because like, it's true. This is just a lot of fun, really different, and I love her. And I can't wait to take her to the beach with us very soon. I imagine wearing her at the beach with some little denim shorts. So I'm so ready for it. Okay, let's start from the beginning. She is an, another acrylic cotton blend entirely different from the Phoebe but that means y'all just okay because mine was dirty from my trip and then I'm repacking it for another trip I, I I just steamed this one so you'll see these little spots will fade in a minute but that's water stain or water marks on it okay acrylic pop acrylic cotton blend really soft this one is super super lightweight and yet I say lightweight I'm wearing a dark gray bra and you wouldn't know I'm not wearing a cami a cami is not necessary but I was saying it has some really good stretch and give although you don't need a ton because look at this amazing fit starting oh let me show you it's a light beige material that's not giving you a great feel for it but you do get an up close of that fun look at look at that little knit yes and they call it like a brushed knit I don't know that you're going to be able to tell in this video, but you can, it's kind of got like, it, it kind of looks washed. That's the best way I know to describe the color. The texture of this top is kind of in the dye and it, you can kind of, can you see how it kind of looks like it was washed folded? Like it's a little lighter along what like would be like an ironing seam of a top. Do you see that? I don't know how to explain it. But it's really fun and not super bold. It's not like, whoa. It's like, whoa, yes. Okay, hopefully that explained it to you. We did our the best we could to capture that in our photos. But yeah, you can kind of see right here. Gorgeous. Okay, starting at the top, it's another like kind of mock necky turtle. It's not a turtleneck, but it's kind of like this mock neck, loose little whatever. I don't know. Fun. This is a fun little change in my fall slash winter spring wardrobe and I'm here for it. Going down from the neck. Oh, now let me show you. There's this detail. I have the tag hanging out. Sorry, y'all. There's this detail along. Focus, focus camera. There's this detail along. There it goes. It's like about two inches of just this little detail in the knit and it happens on both sides. Do you kind of see that? So pretty feminine, a little feminine touch to this kind of casual hipstery vibe that we have going on with this top. Then it goes down to this drop shoulder with this exposed shoulder seam. Then on the sleeve, let me pull the sleeve down to try to show you this other detail that happens on the sleeve. Do you see that little right there? Just another little change in the stitching pattern or whatever you call that just right down towards the sleeve love those details and then it's got kind of a narrow ribbed cuff that cuff matches the hemline of this top do you see that 
We're calling her the detail top because y'all stop it. This is another one. You're going to have to look at the pictures that I sneak to y'all this week. I don't know what day I'm dropping those photos on our feed, but it has the most fun little back detail to this thing. So do not miss that. The Tessa is going to come in a small, medium, and large. It is an oversized fit. I am 5'5", 34C. Look at this. And a th two, three, or 26. So plenty of, look at all of this room up here. But she's so lightweight and flowy that she drapes really, really well. You could easily wear this with some leggings if you wanted to wear her out. You can see that she goes below the bottom of the rise of my jeans and gives me almost, almost full bum coverage. So plenty of length, plenty of room. She's not restricting at all in the sleeve. This is kind of like semi, semi dolman sleevey, but not a real drastic one where it kind of tapers down uh, at your wrist, but great, great fit. You're going to see Meredith and Becca in this girl tomorrow. Such a good fit on so many body types, easy to dress up, dress down. I think she's perfect for a little uh, front tuck. Y'all, the sizing, you're going to love Love this. Look at all of this room. You could probably, even this could be maternity friendly. You've got a lot of room to work with and some length on this girl too, but not, not so much that it's like, what do I do with her? It's a great, great little top sweater, whatever you want to call her. Love this look, y'all. The Tessa, she's good.